Hi guys, thanks for tuning in again. This is Julia from Just One More Card, and today I'm going to feature some new and gorgeous dies by Spellbinders. I am going to be using this huge die, um, which is from the Floral Bouquet collection, and it's a it's one single die, and it's it's big. Um, so it basically covers your entire card and it has tons and tons of detail. I'm just going to show you this real quick. This is just a test die cut that I made so I would see what the effect would be. And you can see not only does it die cut, it also very softly embosses into the die cut some additional structures. So this is very interesting. I've never really had uh, any dies before that did that. So there's lots of possibilities. I'm also using the Deckled Rectangles die set by Spellbinders. I'm not sure if that is still available, but I just love it. That's why I'm using it. Now, as for the supplies, I have a card base, just a regular size card base. I have a piece of cardstock that is just slightly smaller than the actual card base, which will be my frame. There you go. Then I have a piece of acetate. This is on, uh, on which we will mount our die cut piece. Um, and then I have just two pieces of, uh, of scrap white paper here that we'll use for the die cutting of the flower. Now I'm going to start out with the first panel that I showed you that was slightly smaller than the actual card base. Um, this is going to be my frame um, into which I will inlay the flower. So I've used the deckled rectangles to die cut the frame out. And now what I'm doing is I'm placing the die with the cutting edge upwards so it's facing you right now. Um, and I'm fitting the frame back into the die cut and I'm going to emboss into this piece now. Now this is a tan embossing mat. It comes with your Platinum 6 machine. So it actually is already included with your cutting plates and everything, so you don't need to buy it extra. And here's the embossing plate, so that's how you sandwich it. Uh, cutting plate, the die with the face up, your piece of paper, the tan mat and the embossing plate. And when you run it through like this, um, because the tan mat is so soft, it will not cut, it will just emboss the edge of the die into the paper, and you can see how gorgeous this looks. So I'm so delighted about that. Um, next, I'm going to be using this scrap piece of white paper to die cut my floral piece here. Okay, so it's just a piece of paper. I'm just going to run this through the die cutting machine, which is the Platinum 6 by Spellbinders. Just running it back and forth because it's very intricate so I want to make sure I get um, I get it you know right the first time well the first time I run it through multiple times and then I'm die cutting the floral piece again and the trick is here it basically just cuts into the edges of the frame and you will see later on why this is important but this is going to make it so much easier to put together your card later on so basically just running it through to die cut out the edges. And here you can see the outline. This is all that it cuts, but this is really going to make a difference later on. So I'm just carefully removing this. And since I'm in the die cutting spirit right now, I'm also cutting the flower again from a piece of red cardstock because I need some colorful accents later on and I can't get those without cutting the entire flower from the red cardstock. So. Now we have done all the die cutting for this card. Now we're going to put it together. So here's our frame. Um, on the back side of the frame, I'm putting some adhesive with my ATG gun because I will mount my acetate sheet onto this frame. And the reason I'm using my, my ATG gun is um, because it's not a fluid adhesive, you know, because I'm always afraid with the acetate um, that glue will, you know, seep out of, out of beneath the edges somewhere and then you will see it and it's going to be a mess. For that reason, I've only applied very little Tombow Mono on the back of this die cut and you can see now why I die cut into the frame. It makes it super easy to immediately place your die cut perfectly. So there is no moving around. I can now, I now very gently press down and there's only very little adhesive on the back side of it so it doesn't ooze out. But because of um, those little die cut pieces on the edge of the frame, I was able to immediately slide it into position. So that was super easy. And now I'm using the red parts um, from, you know, when I die cut uh, the, um, from the red cardstock and uh, sliding them in basically where they belong. Also put a little bit of glue there so they would stick. Now this is the back of my frame so I'm putting um, foam tape on it 
and I mounted it onto my card base and then I'm just using my Wink of Stellar um, clear shimmer pen just to add some shimmer to the card and that's it and now you have this gorgeous floating flower card you can see here in the close-up shot some of the glimmer or some of the um, shimmer you get from the from the Wink of Stella shimmer pen. It's a very clean and simple design Well, it's actually not quite that simple because it took a while to put together But I just love the effect that this clean white effect this floating um, Die cut which really gives uh, the die cut the entire focus because it's so nice and intricate I don't really want anything else to distract from it and I can stamp a sentiment on the inside of the card It doesn't even need to be here on the outside. I hope this inspired you and gave you some inspiration how to use the new Spellbinders products. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you again soon. Bye bye!